Hey, this is the Elvis Cup guy. Hey, I'm filming this video outside. Uh, a couple reasons, the lighting and the size of this thing that I'm going to put on this video. But what I'm going to show you today is a poster, an Elvis Presley poster, advertising Elvis Presley appearing on stage in 1958 while he was in the Army. So, let me go ahead and get to it. As you can see here, I've got a poster extra on stage. Elvis Presley, mystically transformed, direct from an army, direct from army base. It's real, not a movie. And I'll pan back so you can kind of see the size of this thing. And as you can see, if I hold it, put my hand up on it the size of it but this is a poster from 1958 and this poster is from a show that was done 58 maybe early 59 by this guy he's the guy that brought you Elvis Presley appearing on stage in 19 58, maybe early 59. The mighty Karakum. And he was a former vaudeville act. And starting in the mid to late 50s, or mid 50s, he had a traveling show called part of a spook, the Spook Show circuit that would actually um, go around to different theaters, especially here in the South. And I'm here in the South Charlotte, North Carolina, and uh, back then a lot of movie theaters had a stage on them, so they could kind of double as a theater where you could actually have other kind of shows, not just a flat screen where you go in and, and pay to see a movie. You could actually use the stage for other things, and he had a traveling spook show where they did magic and a lot of other things. Well, part of his spook show that he had... Uh, what he would do is he would have a negative image shown uh, of a person but usually it was uh, like a sensational kind of thing where um, he would actually get a negative image it was a it was a variation of an optical illusion whereby you stare at a high contrast negative image for 30 to 60 seconds and then you look away or close your eyes and you see the positive image imprinted on your retina. The ghost maker, in this case, the mighty Kara Kuhn, would then have the audience stare at the negative image of uh, Elizabeth Taylor or uh, James Dean and uh, after a sufficient amount of time, he would black out the theater. And then, as soon as you would black out the theater, and you'd been staring at this negative image, then, all of a sudden, a positive image of what you were looking at would appear. So, all he did, in this case, was his traveling spook show. He had a picture of Elvis from the Army, and during his show... Uh, he would put the, the uh, contrasted image up. You didn't really know what you were looking at. And you would stare at it for 30 to 60 seconds. And then they would flip the house lights off. And then all of a sudden, you would see a positive image of Elvis on stage. And in this case, he was in the Army. So people were able to whether Elvis was at basic training or he was already overseas in Germany, somebody could sit somewhere in the South in a movie theater and see Elvis burned in their retinas uh, as an optical illusion. So I've, I've got a notebook here that I've comprised with some of my research, but here's a flyer. And he had a thing called the crawling thing from planet 13 as you can see there's a copy of the flyer 
but it says Elvis on stage, mystically transforms singing for you. And this is from West Jefferson, North Carolina. As you can see, it's the same image. Okay, now this isn't in any particular order. Remember, here's the guy right here, Kara Um There it is. Here's some examples, again, of the flyer. Once again, this is from late 58, maybe 59, right when Elvis went to Germany. And uh, he also did James Dean. Okay. And then this is some research I did on Karakun, where he was doing this stuff back in 56. But he wasn't doing Elvis yet, because Elvis was not overseas or in the Army. But here he is where, here's a flyer, where he made James Dean materialize. And of course, James Dean, I believe, died in 55. So he did this little gimmick for James Dean. And then when Elvis went into the army, he did it for Elvis too. There's an ad for him hiring magicians, or uh, I mean, I'm sorry, you can hire his service. Here's the actual movie theater this thing came from. West Jefferson, North Carolina. But this shows Elvis loving you. Uh, but that's kind of what it looked like. That's probably where this poster hung at some point and then I just, it was tough to get this this information on Karakum and I had to dig for this stuff like I said there he is again but what's odd is he abruptly stopped in 1960 and nobody ever heard from him again and from one uh, chat room or, or message board that I found he was actually threatened with a lawsuit by Colonel Parker for false advertising saying that he was going to make Elvis appear on stage and it was misleading people and I don't know if he sued him or it just scared him so much or he was so old at the time that he just retired. But you can look it up if you decide to look, you know, look into this more yourself, but the guy's name was Kyra Coon. And this was some kind of, uh, I don't know if he had a film to go along with it. Apparently he did, but I actually found a little advertising video, and I got some screenshots from it uh, that are in here. And I'm sorry, I'm just thumbing through this notebook of research that I did. Uh, there's another one where he's advertising James Dean. Okay, so the crawling thing from Planet 13, 18 big acts on stage, and this Elvis appearing on stage was one of the big acts. See him cut the head off a volunteer. See him uh, out of, uh, create an out of space monster. Uh, there's an exciting vampire girl. Knives will be driven through the head of any unsuspecting person. There's some kind of damn monster, like out of space monster with a gun. Let's see what we got here. International Mystery Show. There's that. Here's another copy of the flyer. The Parkway Theater in West Jefferson, North Carolina. Elvis on stage. Produced by Kara Coon. There he is. So I just thought this was really interesting. It's one of the few, maybe the only instances where you have a concert or an appearance poster of Elvis Presley from 1958 or maybe early 59. Ellis was thousands of miles away, but yet I've got a concert poster or an appearance poster of Elvis. Uh, brought to you by Kyra Coon, who, like I said, was maybe threatened with a lawsuit by Colonel Parker to stop doing this crap 
and ripping off people. But like I said, he kept it into small towns. Uh, and people would just go to his spook show and watch this monster stuff and outer space stuff. And uh, he had been doing this for years. But he took it up a notch in 58, 59 with Elvis appearing on stage. And it appears that Colonel Parker got that thing shut down. So anyway, there's a... Here's another earlier poster, the Mighty Karakum. And there he is again. And here's an early vaudeville type ad of Karakum. So, to recap, this guy right here, the Mighty Karakum, would make Elvis appear by showing the unsuspecting crowd that went to go see his show in late 58, early 59, a, uh, a negative image, high def image of Elvis, and then they would stare at it. Uh, and then when he cut out the lights, you would actually see a positive image burned into your retina for about 30 to 60 seconds. It was like, a, like an optical illusion. So, that's the story of this poster. Now, I have never, ever seen another one in my life. And it's, uh, you know, pretty rare. I, uh, I'm really kind of hesitant about getting it framed because I don't want it to have any damage done to it as far as uh, fading or sun damage. But... I think it's a pretty scarce poster and it's one of the, man, it might be the only personal appearance poster uh, regarding Elvis Presley from 1958. So I just thought you guys would find that interesting. I know I did. I'm going to pan back so you can see how big it is. There's a can there you can see, but I thought it was really cool. So. Just thought I would share that. A lot of people don't know this. I didn't know it, but yep. 1958, early 59, you could see Elvis Presley with your own eyes burned into your retina for 30 to 60 seconds if you went to go see Garakum's traveling spook show down here in the deep south. So, Elvis Cup guy. Hope you enjoyed it. One more shot. Garakum.